So, you know, one thing at uh, a mining operation is that you're doing more than one thing. You're not just out there uh, with a shovel, digging dirt and loading it into a truck. But we know that uh, in open pit and in underground, there is a, a series of activities that need to be completed uh, for an operation. You have the drilling, you have the blasting, and then you have the mining. So we wanted to uh, have a product that allowed us to, to schedule each one of those activities. And so Atlas really fills that gap. So Atlas, it's a, it's a toolkit for short-term planning that allows the user to establish uh, a set of mining activities and rules and then associate uh, resources with those and produce a calendar-based schedule. Everything is new and uh, we've built it with functionality and usability in mind. We wanted to make Atlas something that you could sit down and it would just flow. The user would come into the product, they would see the initial configuration and then each of the, the functions required to perform just flowed beautifully for the user. Some of the gaps that we were really looking to fill was a, a true activity and calendar based scheduler. And I guess one example of that, um, of being able to offer these really you know, rich reporting and visualization in Atlas is the fact that you know, we've allowed uh, multiple Gantt views. So instead of having this single view to our data model that we keep refining all the time, we allow multiple views. They can look at just their drilling or just their mining um, or just their, their hauling process and then also be able to bring it all together in one big master view. And it's just fantastic. You know, it's, uh, it's an amazing way of being able to quickly jump between and, and focus the user on exactly what they need to see. And another thing that we've done uh, in Atlas is uh, provide animation. You know, one of the most important things to any schedule, um, especially underground, is does my sequencing work? Does the way that I've planned it and assigned the order of activities actually make sense? And the, the best way to, to, to review that is to have animation. And so inside Atlas, we've, we've um, built into it, right at the core of it, the ability to animate your results amazingly. Um, the, the tool that we've provided for the user is just sublime. You can, you can set a time limit for the animation or you can scroll the line through the periods and see exactly what's going on, not only with the extraction of the material from uh, from the pit or from the stove, but also the building of the waste dump as well. So you can see your pit being uh, reduced and you can see your waste dump being built. With the animation, one of the things that we've included is the ability to, to have transparency um, as a waste dump is being, is being built. So if you have this huge lift that contains you know, a lot of material, as it starts to be filled you have this very faint transparency and then when it's completely filled it's solid. So the user just gets this great visual of his schedule um, and also of the pit as it's been uh, reduced, you see the cuts slowly uh, disappear to zero rather than just on and off. One of the things that we've, we've done in Mindset Atlas is have this concept of parent and children activities. So the mining engineer or the mine planner when he's building an Atlas schedule can with one piece of geometry automatically create a whole series of activities. So the way that works is that you may have some predefined uh, polygons or solids uh, of blast master on a bench and you can import all of those um, mining shapes directly into Atlas and automatically generate a whole series of activities from that, that collection of geometry. Things like this make life much easier for the mine planning engineer. Another thing we've included in Atlas is the ability to automatically calculate the undermining precedence for open pit. So you bring in your shapes or you digitize them, you run a single rule and you can then automatically uh, enforce that you know, benches above have to be mined before benches below. And conversely in underground as well, we've added some 3D spatial search rules so that you can 
uh, you know, define certain activities spatially that have to be completed before others. So you simply run this set of rules and it automatically builds it into the Gantt model for you. One of the things in Atlas that makes it different from, from everything else on the market uh, is the ability for Atlas to route material through um, a network of destinations. So if you imagine your material being extracted from your underground stoke or from your pit and then uh, routing it to a series of destinations. So we allow the user this incredible flexibility of uh, establishing their whole destination network of giving the, the schedule opening stocks for stockpiles and then the ability to route material to, to crushers, to bulk material to stockpiles and then reclaim from them and even the ability to auto reclaim from stockpiles to meet targets at the crusher. So we've really um, you know, wanted to provide the whole picture, not just the, the generation of the geometry and the scheduling of the activities uh, at True Calendar, but also for that material that is then sent on to destinations, we want to be able to track every piece of material right to the final destination of the operation. And uh, Atlas just does that incredibly. So you can set up links between every destination uh, and rules for reclaim and, uh, and routing for each of those cuts. One thing that we've been really cognizant of is to have this really tight integration with Mindsight 3D. And I think that's one thing that sets us apart from our competitors is the way that we integrate the, the design, <coughs> the reserves and the um, the animation and the visualization of the product into Mindsight 3D. So there's no, there's no need for any, anyone to be exporting data and importing it into Atlas. They just work seamlessly inside Mindsight. The other integration uh, revolves around Mindsight Haulage, which is our uh, haulage calculation tool. And so we've recognized that you know, when you're producing a schedule, one of the most important things to calculate is the, the cycle time, the travel time, of your truck to the destination. And so what, what we've done and spent a lot of time on is integrating uh, Mindsight Atlas with Mindsight Haulage so that the user can have this seamless interoperation between the two products. So as they're scheduling, if they have a network of um, haulage profiles that has been designed, they can automatically uh, calculate their equipment cycle times and report those inside Atlas. Another area that we've um, you know, we've been absolutely determined to maintain is our ability to work with multiple block models. So there's many operations where you're wanting to bring together, uh, you know, several deposits into a single schedule. So you may have block model A, B and C. And so, you know, all of our scheduling products historically have been able to handle multiple models and Atlas is exactly the same. So as a user, if you have the requirement for scheduling for multiple deposits, you can bring all of that information together into a single schedule. We think Atlas is a great idea. It's going to give the user uh, the most intuitive and uh, easy to follow workflow than anything else they've used before for short-term planning. Thank you.